way. I go with the e the easy the easy ones. All right, Beth is here from Motor City Comic Con, and Nicole Hooks, who is a makeup artist, is here as well. We're so glad to have you both here with us. Thank you. So first off, let's talk about the convention, and a lot of folks don't realize this is like one of the biggest events in our area, and, and it happens twice a year. Yes, it does. It's been going on for 30 years. So talk to us, give us a little bit of a preview of what's coming up in November. We have a lot of special new things this, this show. Of course, we always have the celebrities and the comic guests and the vendors, but we're having a lot of new activities for people to participate in. You know, we have a guy coming in and it's, I call it a paint and tank, so he has little figures that you can paint. We're having people be able to make friendship bracelets and... Um, at a gaming center where you can play magic cards. Very interesting. So the gaming center sounds like something that's new the, for this year. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes. All right. And obviously we mentioned makeup, and we know this is after Halloween, of course, but you brought some fun pieces here with you today. I'm mesmerized <laughs> by your talent. I really am. This is incredible. We're going we're gonna to do a little bit of a demo. But, I mean, first off, show folks what you brought. This is Planet of the Apes right yes. here. So talk to us a little bit about what you brought in with you. Yeah, so we're from Multimedia Makeup Academy. We're located in Troy. Um, we are cosmetology, aesthetics, makeup, special effects, and nail school. Um, so this is actually student work. So this is, um, some of my students did these. So this was a creation from Planet of the Apes. We also Easy, have easily recognizable. Easily recognizable. Right? And then um, this is Mojo Jojo from the Powerpuff Girls. So he's like the evil villain. We usually have like a little helmet for yeah, him. Yeah, definitely looks very evil. <laughs> I don't and then this one, I am just fascinated by this. I asked you right off the bat yeah. what this was. So this is a little like a shrunken head. A little color. shrunken head. Yes. I mean, and it's made out of like pretty much like latex, latex material. And, yep, latex and foam. I mean, that is frightening. So that's something that we sculpted, molded, and then we made a little you know, shrunken head, and then we're able to paint it and add fake hair. And yeah, no, this, this is a scary little guy. All right, so you're doing a little bit of a makeup demo yeah. today. Talk to us a little bit about what are the trends this year? So Beetlejuice is definitely going to be a trend this year. Um, this makeup is actually from the new Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice movie. I'm not going to give any spoilers away. Okay, since so it just came out. It, yes, right? it, it came out on Friday. Um, but this is one of the makeups from it. So I have a feeling this is going to be a very popular look, Beetlejuice look. Lydia, all of that is going to be very popular. Going to be very popular this yes. year. So, give us a look. I see the staples there. Mm -hmm. um, and then, what did you actually use to create some of that? Yeah. So, this is a prosthetic. It's called a Prose Transfer. Okay. So, it's a, kind of like a three D temporary tattoo. So, we're able to sculpt and mold um, in a silicone mold, and then we make a three D piece, and then I glued a bunch of staples to it. Um, but if you are at home and you're trying to do this for yourself on Halloween, you could get away with doing, you know, painting it on if you wanted, or you could do cotton and latex buildup and just throw some staples in there. Um, and then we did a beauty makeup on lovely Bianca here. And yeah, so we had all of those. And it, yeah. I mean, and I have to ask you, I look, I'm looking at it and there's yeah. so much detail. It's not like itchy at all, is it? I mean, you can just kind no. of, no. And, and I know you're not mic'd up, so yeah, so, I, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it just feels fine. Yeah, you right. kind of forget about it. It might, you know, you might feel it for a second when you put it on, but it goes away after time. So yeah. Very, very, yeah. very cool. All right, so talk to us a little bit about the rules for the competition that we mentioned. Well, you have to apply for the cosplay contest, which is on Saturday. It starts at 5.30. And so you can apply beforehand. Yes. Are you actually, taking entries now? It's actually going to be opening up for people who have been in the contest before oh. on the 9th. And then it opens up on the 16th for, for everybody. And how many people do you estimate do you think that you'll have? Usually around 75 to 100 people will will participate we'll throw in their hat into the ring. And you have some pros and some folks who might be giving it a try for the first time. And people wear, will come in and they, they'll wear their Halloween costumes. And other people go all out where they will take months and months to create their costume. And they sew it all by hand. Um, I love to see how energized people get about it and how gung-ho and, and they really like it. They dive right in. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is one of the funnest, very fun to watch because it, the room fills up with hundreds of people watching the contest and people cheering, you know, the different contestants on. It's, it's, it's fun to It's see always there. something to see, for sure. Thank yeah. you both for coming in today. Absolutely. I love it. I'm fascinated by this. <laughs>